What's going on guys? Welcome back to Rambling Garage. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tech tip video. I don't do a whole lot of these, but I was uh, working on the Rambler and I found something and I want to show you guys what I found. Um, so, as you guys have probably seen on the channel, I'm doing uh, patching the floors on this thing. There's some rubber, like sound deadening type stuff, and I've been trying to use scrapers and trying to use whatever to get it out. And I've been having a hard time. Um, one of the options that I see online is to use dry ice or you can use like a compressed uh, can of air. You uh, tip it upside down and you spray it and what it does is it freezes the rubber, it makes it shrink and then it makes it really hard and then you hit it with a hammer and uh, it just shatters away and breaks off of the floor. Um, I had a hard time finding dried ice around here. It didn't look very hard if I'm being honest so I, I tried and got some scrapers. Um, I have I just picked up a set of, of these at Harbor Freight and uh, was kind of whacking on them with the hammer and they were working okay but it was, it's taking a good bit of effort and not getting a ton of results out of it. So I was looking around online and I have this uh, Harbor Freight Chicago Electric just a little multi-tool saw thing and I saw that they had a flexible scraper for like grout and stuff and I was like, hmm, I feel like grout is, you know, can be kind of hard. Um, kind of similar texture and like when you do that you don't want to cut through the baseboard so it, it can't cut that strongly so I was like oh maybe it'll cut okay with uh, the metal and not go through the metal on my floors I used this for about three minutes and I was done with the driver's side but mostly done I'm gonna show you guys a little more but I was super impressed so I want to make a video quick of this um, you guys I'm pretty sure you can get these tools for like 20 to 40 bucks somewhere in there you can get the uh, Harbor Freight battery powered one. This is obviously the corded one. Um, I think I got this for like 20 bucks. They're probably on sale for cheaper. I'll put links in the description, but I also got this uh, flexible, they call it a, a flexible scraper, I think. They have like three packs of these, and I think you get them for like 10 bucks. I'm um, pretty sure I got this one for $3 on clearance. So I'm like $23 in this little setup here, which is probably what dry ice would have cost me. And this seems to be a lot less effort. So that's enough talking. Let's go check this thing out. We're gonna go in the car and uh, see how well it works. I, I, seriously, it works. It's kind of satisfying. I'm a little upset that I don't have more of this rubber crap on my floor because I just I kind of want to do this like all day. It just kind of peels up. It's cool. Whatever. Enough talking. Let's uh, let's hop in here. We'll take a look. I'll show you guys real quick how it works. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And just like that, we ditched all of that rubber coating. And we have a, a floor that's ready to wire wheel and prep. And that's basically it. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, just one of these guys in a little uh, scraper blade. Do the flexible one. I think it, it works around the, the nooks and crannies a little easier. Um, overall effort then put into this isn't too much, enough to obviously make me sweat, but uh, not too bad. So. It got a lot of stuff off these floors, not a, not a whole lot of time. I spent maybe 10 minutes total doing both floorboards. Now I gotta go back in there with the wire wheel and clean it up so that I have a paintable surface, but uh, it got us pretty close. So there you have it, little tech tip here from uh, our Emblem Garage, I guess. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, links in the description below. Feel free to comment your thoughts, opinions, whatever. Uh, that's it guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, we'll see you then.